Hey there, welcome to CTAM Church Online. Truly a delight to connect with you. And today we, we are talking about when people talk, which is really a reality of human existence. As social beings, as people who are hardwired for relationships, one of the things that we contend with is the reality that there will there'll always be talk. Talk about us, talk about what's going on, talk about events and so forth. Talk, talk about ideas. This is part and parcel of our nature as human beings. And maybe you're watching this and you have been the subject of back stabbing or maybe backbiting. You've been the subject of the rumor mills. Today, I'd like to share with you some strategies, some of the things that you can at least keep in mind when people talk. And this is inspired by a piece that I find to be very, very iconic. This is by one of those uh, Nobel winners. At least he, he won the Nobel Prize of Literature a number of years back. And uh, whereas I disagree with him in terms of his stance on imperialism, he celebrated imperialism. We cannot throw away the baby and the bathwater. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Rudyard Kipling. If you haven't heard about him, I'd encourage you to look out for one of his poetic pieces titled If. It's amazing. And in that piece, he talks about character. He talks about it's as if he's a father and he's speaking wise words to his son. And in that piece, he talks about what to do when people are talking. Listen to this. This is one of the lines from that piece where he talks about if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. That goes to show us that sometimes the talk that will be around us is the talk of blame. Think about the disciples when they were in the heart of the storm, when the waters were rising, the winds were howling, and they feared that their lives would, would be lost. There they were calling and saying, Master, don't, don't you care that we're going to die? Don't you care that we're going to drown? And that's the kind of thing that Kipling is talking about here that there are times when we go through life where people are blaming and pointing the finger towards us. And he says, in that kind of space, you can keep your head. Even if everyone around you is losing theirs, you can keep your head. And so one of the things that you can do when the rumor mills are spinning, when you are the subject of backbiting, when there you are going through all manner of things, one of the things that you can do is you can keep your head when all around you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. In other words, don't lose your stance. Don't lose your head. I like what Paul says to his protege, Timothy. He tells him to keep his head. And he's telling him to do the work of an evangelist, not to lose his stance. Another line that I like in this piece is he says, If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. Now, when we listen to, to pop and I, I mean pop psychology and, and, and much of motivational speaking, sometimes we'll be told it doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what you're hearing out there. Well, really, there is a place for feedback. Even our Lord asked, what is it that people are saying about me? What are they saying about my identity? Who do men say that I am? It was some sort of, he was gauging, getting to know what, what the word on the street was about him. So there is a place for the, the things that are, are, are being said. It's important for us to listen. In the midst of all that is being said, it's important for us not to throw the baby with the bathwater. Is there a kernel of truth in what is being said? Now, this is the last one ever. And I just would encourage you to check it out for yourself. He says, if you can wait and not be tired of waiting, or being lied about and not deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating. Now, he's given some solid counsel in terms of 
you do not have to play the game at that level. Again, to quote the words of another, another inspiring figure, Michelle Obama talks about when they go low, we go high. And so I just want to encourage you that perhaps you may be the subject of much, much that is tarnishing your name or maybe hurting your character. I want to encourage you that when the people talk, remember to keep your head. When the people talk, remember who you are. Remember, first and foremost, is there any kernel of truth in that which is being said? And then lastly, when the people talk, remember that as you keep your head, remember as well not to engage at that same level. So may this be a blessing to you and let's keep talking. God bless you.